A constant is a variable containing a value that cannot be changed. The ability to have a value that can never be modified is very useful. One great example is the value of pi. Pi never changes. It is what it is. Many of science's greatest accomplishments came as a result of being able to depend on a constant like pi. If a calculation is made with a slightly different value of pi, things could go drastically wrong. In programming, a constant allows us to create a variable that we can rely on to give consistent answers, just like pi does. We can create our own constants using the keyword final. First, write final, then the data type, then the name of the variable. When a variable has the keyword final, it is now a constant. The program can't give it a new value. Constants follow a new naming rule. Write the variable name in all caps, separating words by using underscores if necessary. For example, if we have a bakery with a fixed cost for the cookies we are selling, we would create a constant by writing final double sugar underscore cookie underscore price equals 2.19. The value of sugar cookie price can't change in our code. Sugar cookie price now has a constant value of 2.19. We can then use the sugar cookie price constant variable anywhere we want to use the price, like if we wanted to calculate a customer's total order. If we try to change the value of a constant like our sugar cookie price, we get an error. This is a good thing. It means we can count on any final variable having the exact same value that it was initially assigned. Final variables can also be static. This means they can be accessed by any instance of a class. At this bakery, we have a child discount on all cookies which are instances of a cookie class. No matter what cookie a child buys, it will cost 150. We can set that variable to be static and final. We can now create constants using the keyword final wherever necessary.